Hey everybody, it's Suzanne. Um, today I am making one of my um, spiral embed soaps. It's a glycerin soap and um, people love these. They're just so fun to even like look at. But here you see it. Here's the little spirals. You, you, um, you melt your glycerin into in you know in a pan like this in a mold like this I should say and then whatever color you want and then you take a cheese slicer and make curls let's see if you can see this you just um, go right down through and make your little curls now before you do that um, or after, it doesn't matter when, you, um, I call these my little sticks. You, uh, also made with this silicone mold here. You just pour your, um, melt and pour soap in there, and then you make these little rods. And, um, so what, what it is, is you take your spirals, your little curly cues, whatever you want to call them, and you just feed them through, you know, on your little rod, and like so, and then lay them into your mold. All right. So, um, and these here, these are, you know, real fun. Make all sorts of different colors. I've made them in several different colors. Um, now, this is not my idea. I certainly did not come up with that. But um, actually, um, let's see if I get her name right and don't murder her name. It's Ari Ariane, Ariane, and um, it's, I'm, I know I'm going to murder it, um, L-A-F, uh, I don't even know how to, how to spell it. Uh, La Fille de la Mar or La Fille. <laughs> I'm murdering it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Ariane, she's up in Canada. Um, you'll find her videos out there. She's uh, been around for a long time. And um, let's see. I don't know if hers was the first place I've ever seen it. It might have been. Soaping 101, I'm not sure. It was a while ago anyway. Maybe like, um, I don't know, maybe like three, four years ago. So it was either from her or Soaping 101 or one of them, but it wasn't my idea, so I'm not that bright. And, um, anyway, uh, so I make these. Um, this is for a spring show. It's January, but for um, April for a spring show, I'll have like um, usually about three, oh, no, four or five different colors. And um, you'll see them here in the video. I've attached them. So you make these little curly cues just by... I didn't even look to see if you could see me doing that. Um, just by taking your cheese cutter and going right down through. So that's how you make the little curly cues. Alright. So then you take your rod. Well, let's see. There you go. And feed the curly cues on there. It's not hard at all. I mean, it's. And they look so darn cute when they're, after they're cut. And, um, so all you gotta do is, like, make the rods ahead of time and then do the curly cues and then lay them in your mold. Okay, so, let me just finish doing that. And this mold right here, I think, is something like five-pound mold. And, um, I want to say Nurture Soaps. You can find it there if you need one. And I think that's where I got it. And, um, so, but, um, 
you'd be amazed like when you put these together all different colors like purple red and yellow green and so okay I have four in there and I'm that's these are made the these here are made with clear um, melt and pour soap this is just clear where I added charcoal and charcoal is real good it's good for skin and um, bamboo charcoal and it helps to purify your er, pores and um, it's it's a nice um, thing to add to soap um, so um, but anyway you just make these okay and let me just make a couple more And if you have bits and pieces, don't throw them away. Just put them in a little um, container. And then um, you can do a bits and pieces soap. Like I call it confetti. Because it's all different colors. And that always comes out pretty nice looking too. Or if you want to, you can remelt it. But um, And these are just like fun. Kids like them too. My granddaughter, she she likes stuff like this too because I think because it's colorful. So kids love this. And mountain pour soap is e nice to work with. They've already made it for us, and um, all we have to do is melt and pour it. Okay, now when you're melting and pour, I'll show you mine in just a second here, but um. Just get a couple more. I just need one more. I got the thinking now if it's not Soaping 101 or Soap Queen, or if you can, you know, check and do a search. It's one of them ones that I saw it, and that's how I learned to do it. All right, so now I have four. That should be plenty. So I'll make some more of these for the next batch later on. All right, so. I've melted. I've melted uh, my melt and pour in here, and I've added vitamin E, it's a little liquid, and um, I added avocado oil, um, and in here is red mica, candy apple, let's see. Um, I'll get you the name of it so you know. Yeah, candy apple red. And I didn't put a lot in there just so I could make it just a little pink. And um, that's from Nurture Soap as well. And some gold glitter is in here. All right, so um, that's what I have in here. Let me get you the temperature here. Temperature is 137, which is good. That's a good pour temperature. Spray with alcohol. Spray your mold with alcohol. Can you see that okay? All right. And then...
hopefully I did not fill this too much. Okay. So, um, so, you want to spray again, get rid of the, the, little, your, the little bubbles there on top, and Right, so I have these on here loose, and I, you know, you can do it tight too, meaning um, when you wrap it around here, you can wrap it like tight, just hold the ends and, and twist. You can do tight, or you can do loose, like those are loose, but that's okay because I want it to look like it's floating around. And. Let me just fill a little bit more. And that's about it. And white looks good too. I've done something similar like this in white. That looked really cute too when it was molded, unmolded. Alright, so there you have it. That's what it is. Okay, so. I will be back when I cut this and um, oh I've got a soap uh, giveaway a uh, little bar of soap with the mold it's a tall and skinny mold um, look for that video because I'm giving that away um, when I hit the 1000 mark I'll pick a lucky winner and um, so look for that and please subscribe and give me a like if you have any questions, just write them below. I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, have a great day. So these are basically, um, they all, you know, come out like this. Very cute. And, um, there's all, and, and they all come out different too. Like every, I, there, you see the other pictures that I made, and like if you do this white, like with a goat's milk, um, type of a melt and pour, that'll give a different look to it. But they'll all be, um, cute, and it's in their own little way. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me thumbs up and subscribe. I'm looking for to get to that magic number of 1,000 subscribers. And I'll give away uh, in the previous videos. Look for that one, the soap give giveaway with the soap mold. But um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.